We're going back into some of that Maribel. We're going back to the family. The the border hoppers. The the tortilla makers. The the, the enchilada lovers. I'm back. Hey guys and gals, gave me tear and said they want to get right back with another reaction video. And today we're back with some more Lydia the Bard. And she's made another villain song, but this time with Dolores, who I'm pretty sure is the girl that can hear practically everything, I think. But anyway, it's time to dive deep into some more Maribel action. Those I'm not even gonna say anymore. I'm not gonna say anymore what I was gonna say. But anyway, we're gonna be description down below. Check it and let, let, let go. Oh, almost forgot. I'm gonna boost the volume of this, Laura. Ooh, my volume a little bit. actually do want to say something real quick it's it seems like her ability actually changed because i'm not gonna lie with you oh wait oh my god i'm not gonna lie with you i actually what i was really gonna say is that yes her ability did change she has the ability to shut people up it seems it went from good ass hearing to canceling out any other sounds in her vicinity I want to say but besides that what I really wanted to actually talk about was the beat itself it actually sounds uh, similar to one of the actual songs in there in the actual movie is it Bruno is it the Bruno song Ciso, Ciso. yeah it's kind, of, it's kind of like the Bruno song with the beat in the background there you go so give me a silent show if a tree were to fall and no one was there, would it make a sound at all? The answer is yes, worry less about the tree and more about those in your home. Grew up in this house as the walls were desperately for family and baby masqueraded to call me to know what I knew and to never ever say a word. Heard every crack that appeared over all these years, the ones for a plaster, the ones for three pennies, the ones for the break.
okay, okay. I, I'm not gonna lie, that song actually is a bob right there. But it seems, okay, what I'm gonna do before I even read the stuff is I'm gonna do a little prediction here. Say that she's heard so many like bad comments or so many like things of, this, 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 this is like a different like reality of the original story. I don't know what's different, but at the beginning, it was talking about like, when is she supposed to marry this one guy? Da, 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 da. So let me actually listen to that real quick. No, no, no. Now, what I would do want to say is that, of course, she's going to hear everything. But I know for a fact it, it in this universe, it got to her. Like, she heard too many things. Now she wants only silence so she could finally hear herself instead of everyone else around her and not have any peace of mind as we all might want. I just, you said, I just need a clear view of what the you said. Did you hear Dolores has a crush on Mariano? Oh, okay, okay. That could actually, okay, okay. Hey, Dolores has a crush on Mariano. Get used to the noise, it'll oh, soon go away. But it's louder every day. I thought... Oh. A problem shared is a problem I have as you sit there unaware. Exactly, that's embarrassing. And she's hearing people talk about her business, her family business at that very point. Okay, so yeah, exactly. She can hear people talking about her own business and stuff like that. And well, everything else in between. Is there a description? Move out the way, water bottle. Is there a description for this video? Yeah, there we go, there we go. Okay, hold up. Oh my gosh. So, hey, I was so excited to release Doris, Dolores, Dolores's villain song in the style of a canto. You have no idea. So for those of you who followed the series for a while, I generally imagine pre-existing songs, and this is the first time I have written an original song for the series. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Uh, obvious, obviously, still inspired by the style of Encanto and taking inspo from Dolores Bit and WT, WD Tab. Don't know what that is exactly. Maybe one of you guys can explain it since y'all probably been with Lydia Labard a little more than me or actually been, uh, you know, more in love with Encanto than me. Shoot, only boy I gotta worry about is my boy Bruno. And I ain't talking no Mars. Anyway, um... And my, and my God, am I so excited it's finally out. I really hope you enjoyed it and can see all the love and effort myself and Tony put into the song and the time and effort shrubbing, shrubbug, shrubbing put into the anim, animatic, <laughs> animatic. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for another villain song. Ah, da, da, da. As always, Dolores' villain story for context, da, 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 story. Dolores hates her powers. She always has, but uh, would never dare to complain or moan about the, the miracle they were given. Imagine being able to hear everything everyone said 24 seven from age of five. Maybe if she learned to block people's, um, maybe if she learned to block people out, or had someone to guide her, she could have managed to her own powers. But her family barely understood how they have powers to begin with, let alone how to control them. And so little Dolores put up with it, keeping secrets, ignoring the gossip she heard about herself, ignoring Bruno's whispers from the cracks forming in the walls. Okay, okay, yeah, now I think about it. Exactly. She she could have heard, you know, Bruno, honestly. So if anything, yeah, I was I, I mean, that was always a good question in the movies. Like, why never she brought something like that up? But if she did, it's possible they could have just said, nah, no one's living in a house like that. That's not possible. No way, our ho we got a hobo in here. <laughs> uh, so she bides her time, waiting for the perfect moment to pounce, all the, all the while ignoring Bruno hiding inside the house. The moment, she, the moment came when Maribel mentioned people were worried about the magic and Dolores made her first move, revealing that Louisa... Did I, did I read that right? Louisa? Louisa 
whatever, was weakening. From there, she began sowing, she was sowing seeds of doubt and bitterness throughout the family. Moving next to Isabella, mentioning that Mariano, that Mariano wanted five kids, causing her to doubt her, co her course of action in marrying him uh, to further shake her and the family. Finally, her biggest move yet, revealing the vision to everyone at dinner. Surely this would bring the magic down. Watching the chaos ensue as Maribel, Maribel ran around trying to trying and failing miserably to fix everything. And at long last, she got what she wanted. The house collapsed, the candle was out, the magic was finally gone, and she had a moment of silence. For the first time since she was five, five years old, Dolores was excited for her future. She could finally hear herself again until Maribel placed the handle on, of the door and her powers came flooding back. No, no, no. No, she done everything right. Finally, everything was as it should be. She, she wouldn't go back. She couldn't go back. And in her agony, new power emerged. P.S. Really super duper fun. Links below. The funniest of links. I'm talking Discord server, social media, Patreon, music. Ooh, I gotta leave my stuff down there. Ooh, I gotta start leaving my stuff down there. Mm, Cause I'm not gonna lie with you. I got an Instagram. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. I'm not. I'm not. I. I don't do Twitter anymore. I do. I do TikToks. I. I okay. I gotta do a little more TikTok. <laughs> but besides all that, yes, I do have alternate accounts, guys and gals. Mm hmm. Excuse me. But um. Yeah. This is actually very nice. I'm not gonna lie. I really do like Lydia the Bard stuff. It's really entertaining and it's very nice reading another story. Cause I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to Lydia the Bard, she's ooh, when I react to her stuff, it's almost the only time I read. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Besides manga or some some interesting book, I do not read. So Lydia the Bard, thank you for thank you for the crash course in reading, even if it is like a couple paragraphs something it's something but anyway even i bet everyone would go a little crazy over this honestly i mean but that's five years to learn or try and learn how to use your powers and at the age of probably like 10 10 maybe a little more you get a little you get very irritated how old is she how old is she let me look it up she's 21 years old you're you're really fucking with me honestly me personally, me personally, by 20. Maybe, maybe, me, maybe even by 18, 19. I would have done something. Something spectacular, amazing. I'm not gonna lie with you. I'm not gonna lie with you. I would, I would actually learn how to control that. Cause I, I couldn't. Cause I, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm better. I'm just better. No, I was just listening to the song. And I just wanted to say, don't you think if like something like this would happen? that Bruno's vision would change at least a little bit. Cause you know, it, at the beginning of it, there was really no like villain. It was just like the family's having a little malfunctions here and there. And the only one who could really like bring them together is Maribel. And so she was like the main source of it. She was the one who could really like keep the family together or at least was someone who could like do something with the house to bring everyone together. That's why she was like the main person in the, the vision itself. If there was gonna be like a villain or if one of the pe members of the family were actually gonna hurt or do something, there would be like something to say it in the vision. Basically saying in this alternate universe, there would also be a possibility. I'm not gonna say that, that it had to be a possibility. It had to be certain, it had to happen. It didn't have to happen because Maribel was still the source of bringing everything back together either way, whether someone wanted it or not. Because with just the doorknob, she brought back powers. But I gotta say, I gotta say that, that in the vision Bruno had, there should have been like some indication or a change of like scenery, you could say. Like instead of Maribel being in the center of the downfall, it could be someone else. 
for Maribel chasing after someone in the downfall. You know, this, you know, just in case, just in case that wasn't too clear, the person who's running away or Maribel's trying to catch is the one who's the danger. But uh, just saying, just saying. That's that's just my little theory of it. I'm just saying a little bit, a little bit, because Maribel already got the vision. She already got what she needed. But it's not time for the second vision. She didn't get the second vision until like later on, I want to say, I think, if that's how the movie went. Now, anyway, I'll see you guys in the other way.